Hello and welcome back to the Authorpreneur Nuts and Bolts video course. My name is Garrett Robinson and I am the full-time self-published author of the Nightblade series. Now, one of the most common questions that self-published authors hear or ask is, how much will it cost? to publish my book. Of course, there's no easy way to answer this question. You can spend next to nothing or you can spend quite a lot. So today we're going to go through each phase of the production and establish a high to low cost, giving us a total cost to produce a book of about average length 70,000 words, or about 250 pages in print. At a bare minimum, you must have a word processing program if you don't already. Scrivener is the only program we'll ever recommend on this show. Scrivener is simply the best self-publishing word processor out there at this time, and if you aren't using it, you're making life hard. At a price point of only $40, this is the best money you can possibly spend on your writing career. For 99.99999% of indie authors, hiring an editor is a must. If you can only spend one thing on publishing a book, this is what we recommend. If you don't hire an editor, you are taking a risk with your book's success, and that is no understatement. Now, I know that even with that warning, some of you still won't hire an editor, either because you can't afford one, or because you don't think you need to. And it's true that a tiny percentage of authors, like less than 1%, are good enough at self-editing not to harm their career without one. But even their books are better with an editor than without one. So if you do it yourself, you could spend as little as zero dollars on editing. But if you go the smart route and pay for it, you'll at a minimum want to hire a copy editor. These editors go through your book and make sure there's no glaring typos or spelling or grammar mistakes. For a 70,000 word book, this could cost as low as $500. If they charge you much less than that, you're probably paying friend rates. Or, they might not be especially good. If the editor is very professional and meticulous, you shouldn't balk at a $1,500 price tag if you can afford it. A developmental editor, someone who helps with your story construction, usually charges by the hour. There's no telling how high this could go, but you could estimate as much as a grand. Again, that's for top-of-the-line services. Cover design is the next big thing to consider, and again, you're better off hiring a professional. You could take a crack at doing your own cover if you're graphically inclined, or have a friend do it, but for most authors this isn't a good idea, and you will get more mileage by hiring somebody who does it for a living. If you're in the market for a professional cover, look at other successful authors. See if you can find out who their designers are, and try to establish a rate. Some people will work for $100, or maybe two. You can get very good professional cover design services at 99designs.com, and if you visit their website at 99designs.com slash SPP, you get a free services upgrade that will give you more time in development with designers. 99designs has a top-of-the-line service that costs $1,199, so let's use that as our highest end price on cover design. Next, we come to formatting your book for publication in ebook or print. Now, this is something you can pretty easily learn how to do yourself. And in fact, in this video course, we're going to try to teach you how. But maybe you're not technologically inclined. Or maybe you can afford to hire somebody to format your book and you don't have to bother with it. Trust me. I would do that if I could. You shouldn't expect to pay much more than $100 for ebook formatting, unless you're making a lot of very unusual design choices, which for most people is a bad idea. Paperback and hardcover, however, cost more, and could run you, let's say, another $400, for a total cost of $500 in all three formats. So that's what you can spend per category to produce your book. Now, let's break it all down and look at our minimum and our maximum costs for publishing. So for writing, you're looking at a minimum cost of $40 for Scrivener, and that is the one no-compromise category. If you self-edit, design your own cover, and learn to format your own ebook, all of those services will be free, although we stress again they almost certainly won't be to the standard you should be aiming for. But that would, theoretically, bring your total publishing cost to $40, with no further cost for your second and subsequent books. If you go with the bare bones minimum for each service, with a $500 copy edit and a $299 cover design at 99designs.com SPP, you're looking at a grand total of $839. 
And finally, if you go all out and just throw money at the book, with a $3,000 developmental and copy edit, an $1,199 99designs.com cover, plus $500 for formatting in ebook, paperback, and hardcover, you'd be looking at a price tag of about $4,739. Sound daunting? Well, don't worry, we will do our best to mitigate these costs with the rest of this video course. But it's important to remember that no matter how much you spend, that's not money you're throwing away. That's an investment. At some point in your career, you'll be successful enough that you won't bat an eye at spending $5,000 to publish a book. Because if your writing is good enough, spending that money on editing and packaging will pay you back in spades. Traditional publishers pay a lot more than that to produce a book, I can tell you. Hopefully you've found this video helpful and haven't yet run screaming from this self-publishing madness. We can't wait to see you in the next one, so don't forget to subscribe below, and as always, write on.